Okay, this is number 62. This is what's called a work problem. Work problems are some of the more simple ones that we do once you actually get them down. They're not that bad. The key to a work problem is you want to figure out the rate of each person's work, okay? How fast they work, okay? And then when you multiply it by the time that they worked and add them together, they always have to equal one job, okay? Now, when I say always, there are some exceptions to that. Let's say they're comparing something to, um, I don't know, uh, paving one road or one mile of road. That would be one job. And they say, how long would it take to do 16 miles? That would be 16 jobs. Okay, so we have to keep that in mind. But number 62, I know you've read it through. We got a printer that can report a report in three hours. So printer A, its rate is one third. Every hour it does one third of the job. Printer B, its rate is one fourth. Every hour it does one fourth of the job. Now it wants to know how long it would take both printers working together to prove to print one report. So it's gonna equal one job. Well, I'm gonna take the rate times the time of A plus the rate times the time of B. So the rate is one third, okay? And the rate is one fourth. Well, the nice thing about it is they started at the same time. So if I let X equal the time worked, I just put an X in front of both of those. So the rate times the time. The rate is one third, the time is X. The rate is one fourth, the time is X. So I end up with an equation like this. X over three plus X over four equals one job. Now again, I'll pause it out, solve it out, and then come back to explain. Okay, so we have it, have it uh, solved out here for you. So we've got Again, my equation, I multiply by the common denominator, which is three times four. The 12 comes through, so the threes cancel off. I have four X, fours cancel off. I have three X and 12. Solve it out, I get 12 sevenths hours, which is one and five sevenths hours, which when I convert that is one hour, 42 minutes and 51 seconds. So it take one hour, 42 minutes and 51 seconds to do that whole job.